Way to hustle! Way to hustle! All right, who's next? This guy. All right, run out and hook in. Run out and hook in. Show these people how to play football. I'm gonna make Mac look so bad. My form is perfect. I'm like Jerry Rice. Feel that stride. So fluid and fast. I knew the I guys from the show were funny and entertaining, but I had no idea they were so athletic. This guy reminds me of Michael Crabtree from Texas Tech or uh, Florida's uh, Percy Harvin. I got it. <laughs> Barry Sanders, the Oklahoma State legend right there. Yeah, it looks just like Barry Sanders. More like Colonel Sanders after a bucket. Look at the flab in his face and watch this. He can't take a hit. You got to look for the ball. Adam, you do know your sports. That's why I'm here, Greg. That's why I'm here. College Sports Today, up next and online. We're everywhere. All right, now it's time for some real football. Welcome back to College Sports Today. Alongside Adam Zucker, I'm Greg Amsinger. Greg, it's always sunny in Philadelphia, unless Temple's playing UConn, because they uh, they trudged it through the remnants of Tropical Storm Hannah. UConn won that in overtime, and there were a bunch of games that we should recap for everyone watching here. You know, East Carolina did it again. This time held West Virginia to three points and more than backed up their win over Virginia Tech last week. Skip Holtz's team looking like a BCS buster right now. Ohio State, without Beanie Wells, kept their composure against Ohio University, avoided what would have been their first loss to an in-state opponent since 1921. But some sloppy moments, like a snap going over Todd Beckman's head, not looking good heading into a road trip to USC. And Jake Locker was amazing for Washington against BYU, except for this one penalty he took for celebrating what was supposed to be the game-tying touchdown. Instead, they had to try for the extra point from 35 yards out. And BYU blocked it, Greg. The refs playing a role there. It's unfortunate. It should not be the case. In other news, it's a Hall of Fame class we can all look up to, literally. Two of the greatest big men of all time were inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame on Friday. Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon and the Beast of the East, Patrick Ewing, made up the front line for this year's class and for good reason. Aside from their amazing pro careers, both centers dominated the college ranks as well. Their stats weren't ridiculous in college, but that's what makes college hoops so special. No matter who Houston or Georgetown play, their opponents spent countless hours trying to stop the big fellas, and they failed just about every time. Ewing played for a national championship in three of his four years, winning once against Hakeem's Houston Cougars. One of the many reasons it's so fitting to induct them together. You want another reason? How about their favorite sports growing up? Olajuwon and Ewing didn't play basketball as kids. Hakeem was a soccer goalkeeper and handball player, while Patrick also excelled at soccer. And listen to this, cricket. The rest of this class did not dominate in cricket, but <laughs> we'll talk about them anyway. Pat Riley excelled as a player at Kentucky. College basketball broadcaster Dick Vitale was in along with Notre Dame great Adrian Dantley, owner Bill Davidson, and former Immaculata University coach Kathy Rush. Well, that's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow on College Sports Today.